Hello, hello, everybody. We are in the last three days of this sort of introduction to yoga series that's been happening all month long. Um, so far, introducing um, many different poses from uh, different sort of categories of opportunities with poses, whether it's twisting, whether it's um, bending and balancing. And so today and tomorrow, I'm going to introduce um, two of the traditional flow sequences um, that you'll often see in a vinyasa uh, style flow class that kind of um, start the classes out and then what typically happens is sort of later um, in those classes is when you get to more of sort of the static um, holding poses that we've done the rest of the month. So go ahead and join me if you can. Otherwise, um, just observe. Um, and these sun salutations, as they call them today, is what we refer to as the Series A. It's really all about linking the breath to movement. So um, for me, even in the strength training context, when we're training or even doing group fitness classes, I always encourage people to tap into that breathing and um, use the breath very optimally when we're lifting or when we're doing core work too. So um, the breathing is not only important when we're in yoga or doing like a yoga flow and sun salutations, but it's just important through the entire sort of expanse um, of our life. But this is um, a great way to practice it and, and really learn how to connect your um, breath with movement. So let's go ahead. We're going to come in to mountain pose. And then from there, we're just going to inhale, raise the arms right overhead. And then exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, we're going to flatten the back, lengthening the spine and the eyes a little bit. And even if you need to bring hands to shins or to thighs, go ahead and do that. And then exhale, we fold. Inhale, we're going to step or walk back into a high plank, and this might have you coming right down on your knees. And then as we breathe out, we lower down. And for the purpose of this first round, let's just come all the way down, and then inhale, lifting into a little baby cobra. Shoulders down, hips and feet down, just lifting the chest a little bit. And then exhale, back up and into downward dog. Okay, so however you need to get there for wherever you are in your yoga journey. And here, we spend three to five breaths, breathing in and out. Hips are up, hips back. Heels round towards the floor. Shoulders away from the ears and the arms are nice and straight. You shouldn't feel tension in your wrists here. Breath. You're going to walk or step in to flat back and then fold. And then we're going to inhale, we're going to rise up, we're going to reach up, and we're going to go right into it again. Exhale and fold. Flat back and fold. So step, walk, or pop back to high plank. Go to your knees if you need to. Otherwise, we're going to um, exhale and lower down, and then inhale, coming through to up dog. So upward dog versus cobra or baby cobra. The thighs are off the floor, chest is lifted, shoulders down. And then exhale, turn the toes under and lift into downward dog. And breathe. Then travel the feet forward again, step, walk, or hop, flat back, and fold. And then let's go one more time. Inhale, rise, and reach. Exhale, and fold. Flat back, and fold. Step, walk, or pop back to high plank, giving you the different variations here. Exhale, slowly lower, pause, 
and then come through to upward dog. And then to downward dog. About hugging muscles to bones. You don't want to be over stretching and getting out of those muscles and into your ligaments. So think about hugging the arm that's in. And then on the next inhale, go ahead and travel forward. Flat back. Fold. Rise and reach all the way up, palms together, and just come right down to your heart. All right, so that is a um, traditional Series A. It's great. Um, I love to use it as a warm up when I'm just going to do a workout or I've used it in classes or training sessions before. Um, it's good to just recenter a day. It's a great little standalone um, workout or as a morning exercise too. So there's so many possibilities there and different <coughs> options and progressions for all um, levels of yogis. So hopefully you kind of uh, saw that uh, happening as I went through just those three. And there's so many different ways to transition that. And we do that um, in our Wednesday class and use it in very different fashions. So tomorrow, come back and we will um, enhance that series A into a series B where we'll add some different positions into it, including um, chair pose and including uh, warrior one and possibly even uh, warrior two. So I hope you found this helpful um, and I hope that you come back tomorrow and check out the last flow series and then on the very last day of the month come back because we're going to um, wrap it all up with a really super restful and restorative pose. Have a great day.